Alright guys, Smooth Gamer here and today I'm going to be starting a series with Wigan uh, Obviously as you can see I've got the update, they're in the championship so this I'm going to call this series a uh, road to promotion Now I did play for 10 minutes before this but the audio wasn't working and I do apologise if the audio is absolutely terrible Obviously I'm new at this and my microphone isn't as good as I'd want it to be. So I, I really do apologise but it really is as good as I can do at the moment. Anyway, the update, uh, you can get off FM Scout uh, and it is a fantastic update. Obviously it is updated literally to about a week ago. If I go to Tottenham, there they are. They do of course have Saldado. So it is a very recent patch or update. Um, right, so obviously in this 10 minute video that I did before, obviously as I've said, the audio didn't work. So I, I did pick my team and everything. As you can see, uh, I've got our Habsian goal, Perch's right back, Coldwell, Rogney in the middle, if that's how you see it. Uh, Craney as a left back. My centre backs are McCarthy and Ben Watson, of course, who scored the famous goal against Manchester City. And then I've got Sean Maloney uh, on the right, Beaudejour on the left and up front of course Grant Holt oh, I'm actually going to put a target man there and Dicko yeah I'm going to keep it like that yeah Noir Dicko um, I did shortlist a few players Stephen Ward I have inquired about obviously because as you can see I really do need a new left back I've literally just got no left backs whatsoever and Stephen Crane literally is my only one and obviously Ivan Ramis is out for three months which is going to be a big blow for the team but yeah also on the uh, shortlist here we've got Billy Sharp from Southampton so he's on the reserves so he might be tempted a little more to come uh, Kevin Doyle from Wolves and Frederico Nakeda, which I'm a bit on the fence about. Um, obviously, I know he's a fantastic player, but obviously, he might want to stay at Manchester United. If I think, yeah, okay, right, I've already done a report on him. Yeah, there you go, right, so he, has, he's, he, he wants to continue his development at his current club. Obviously it's a big, big blow and I have inquired about Stephen Ward as I've already said. We'll see. Our first game, I've not done any games yet, South End is our first friendly. And then of course the big game before the start of the season is the Community Shield against Manchester United. So we're going to progress here. And see what comes through. Okay, Pulimo's Makeda offer accepted, so obviously United are probably going to accept a lot of, um, yeah, okay, right, uh, Nichols, now he is a 19-year-old goalkeeper, I believe, yes, he's in the reserves, um, he is about to go, on. I'm going to send him out on loan, as you can see, to uh, Oldham, so I wish him the best of luck. Hopefully he can come back and be a second goalkeeper ahead of Scott Carson. It's not really like Scott Carson. Mostly three stars. Isn't that brilliant? He's only 26 though, so you know, I could put him up there. Um, right, so so right, nothing's really happened here. Obviously I've not got a very big budget, so Stephen Ward at the moment is the only player I can really go for. I suppose I could ask the board. For more money, transfer budget. How about the transfer budget? 
Right, okay. So they're, they're obviously not going to give it me. It's a bit disappointing, of course. But what can you do? It's Wigan. Right. I'll progress again. See what happens. Paris Saint Germain have, it, have had a bit accepted for Lucas Weaver. Let's see if you want to know what club I support. It is of course Liverpool. Um, not been doing well in the past few seasons, but oh well. Can you do Paris Saint Germain? Though? Thirty-one million. Thirty-one million. He's only worth thirteen. So, PhD obviously, bloody keen to get him, obviously Billy Sharp, I really do want this guy, because he's a fantastic striker, I've bought him before on a Swansea career mode, I don't know why I just called it a career mode, right, Stephen Ward, he want 6 million, that could be a big problem, obviously it's probably on high wages as well, Right, we want six. I'm gonna be cheeky. I'm gonna offer four. Let's see what happens. We're we'll three days away from our first pre-season match against Southend. Oh, there is actually a coach I want to sign as well. So we can browse here. Just got four new things. I'm actually going to change this. Uh, Rangers match and uh, one's training. And I'm actually switches to never. So, I, so every time I play, I always get the reserve manager coming to me and asking if the first team players can play. And it actually does really annoy me. So, right. Obviously, I, as I've said, I did do a video before this. And I was about to offer David Beckham, was he? He's very interested. Obviously on this update I've got, David Beckham doesn't have a club. So obviously he has retired. So I'm going to go ahead and offer him a contract as an under 18 coach. Wow! Okay. Alright, so I've literally just gone 2 million under what they wanted and that they have actually accepted it. So he wants a pay rise when we get promoted. Um, I'll take that off, add a bit more. Alright, okay. Alright, yes. All right, that is actually very good. <coughs> so we'll keep going here. And they want 3.6 million. And obviously, obviously I've just paid for Ward, so I actually don't have that now. So I'm going to have to start selling some players. I was like, I haven't really got anyone to sell, because I really, I actually need everybody. So if you look at the wages, fairly high. Well, I say high. It is for Wigan. I've just got cars and some of I'm just like that. But obviously, if I sell some of these players, I'm not really going to get much for it. Emerson Boyce. Actually, we like Emerson Boyce. So, yeah, there's not really much I can do about that. So, I'm going to have to cancel that. <coughs> also, these videos, I'm planning on making them about 20 minutes long. Because I am using something called IndyCam, I think. And I'm not registered, so it only allows me to record in 10 minute slots. So if I just do two slots, obviously 10 minutes each, I'll just make a 20 minute video. Liverpool sign Robson, obviously he's a coach, I think. Or maybe a new assistant manager, I'm really not sure. Uh, I have a, of course, as you can see, a face pack. I've got the scope, mega pack. That's off FM scout. So everything I have here is off FM scout. 
as you can see there, Brian Robson accepts the offer for Liverpool. Since I had rejected offers from Everton, West Brom, Stoke, Swansea and Norwich. And there you go, Liverpool sign Robson. And the good. Oh, oh okay, right, that was Dave Beckham there. Signs for Wigan. Obviously just as a coach, because obviously he's retired. And we actually have the South Island match in a minute. Which should be good. Hopefully we'll get a win. And Lucas Lever is set for Paris Saint Germain. And obviously there you go, it is confirmed. Join Liverpool for six million. Wow, they made a big, big profit on him there, then, haven't they? Ward set to sign for Wigan, there we go. That is the sign in that one, see? South End then. Hopefully we can grab the win. I really don't know how to do these matches. Obviously, um, stick Stephen Ward in for Craney. take out this guy. I'm really not even going to try to pronounce that. Obviously now I've got to register Ward. He's on 21 so he don't have to be registered. I don't want to uh, we'll receive him there we go. Confirm selection. We'll go into the numbers. Where is he? There he is. Right, yeah, we'll give him the number two. We're on Barnet as well. Submit numbers. Right, so we're going to our first match. Right, so yeah, this is going to be the starting line up. Uh, I'll sort all that out. I'll leave it as it is for now. Just see how stuff goes. I'm just going to do this one. Uh, run with ball. Often. Oh, see, he's a striker, so you don't really need to do three balls. I'm actually going to get Dicko to hold up the ball sometimes. Lovely Hulk can run. Hulk can run past him. Uh, long shots. Often. Sometimes with this guy. Sometimes we're running closely, we want to hold the ball. Um, closing down, own half, own half again. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Obviously, we don't have a big enough squad to do this. We could put in some reserves, but I really don't want to. Because, <laughs> obviously, championship, championship's always close. So, I'm just going to focus on getting these players fit for now. South end should be an easy win for Wigan. Obviously, just because they've been promoted, uh, promoted, I should have said demoted. Oh, demoted. What am I even on about? It's relegated. Isn't it? Right, I want to retain possession. I want to play good attacking football. Uh, obviously, I always go for the tired, assertive bottom one. That always seems to give them a good. Good reaction. I actually found that out off another uh, some other YouTuber I've been watching. So let's start of the match here. And obviously, I will play in this 2D unless obviously somebody wants me to do it in 3D because my computer can do it in 3D. Um, obviously, like that. But I like watching it in 2D. So we're just going to leave it at that so far. Six minutes in, and we have an injury already. And we don't have another striker. So we're going to do, we're going to point into attacking the field. I'm going to bring on Jody Gomez. Six minutes in, and we've been hit with an injury already. Not the best start. We've won it back here with Perch, McCarthy. Now to Coldwell. Good ball into the middle. Oh, wow. What a strike. A Sean Maloney after 7 minutes has put us 1-0 up. 
That is a fantastic start. Right, I was, I've got it on key here. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. This match might go on to the next episode. And obviously, 2-0. This is a fantastic start. Obviously, Rag Rodney. I weren't really sure about starting him, but obviously, Ivan Ramis is out injured, so he really is our only option. Other than Caldwell. Um, I actually want to put on match stats. Something's booting it up. Caldwell brings it down. And like I said, I do want, I'll go off this sort of play. Passing, and that is a fantastic ball. And we're 3-0 up. After just, well, not even half time yet. I would say, I know it's only south end, it's pre-season. But we'll see, it's always good to get excited. Especially, I mean, look at those stats. 11 shots. And we've, we're absolutely dominating in possession. And that is half time. Go with a passionate team talk here. Obviously, people are looking pretty good. We'll just make a quick substitution for the booked player. Give some other people a bit of a run. James McCarthy, maybe. Yeah, we'll get James McCarthy. So you can't play that. So we'll stick Jody Gomez out on the wing. And we'll start the second half. Well, Hopefully the second half is like the first half and we score another three goals, that would just be fantastic. That would be absolutely brilliant to be honest. Yeah, if we continue our domination here, you can see South End, South End are starting to get a few more shots in. But nowhere near, you know, competitive. But they have got a highlight here. Good defending there. As McCarthy picks it up, gives it back to Hobsey. Um, I'm actually going to tell them. Obviously, with retained possession, you uh, you can't you can't tell them to get the ball forward. But here's Jody Gomez, and that's pretty good defending there by Southend. Eastwood, oh Caldwell, well, that's not Caldwell. Rodney, he just got he just got beat. Looks like Eastwood just dropped his shoulder and just. Absolutely worth it. Stephen Ward, Bodeshaw, 20 minutes left as you can see. Grant Holt now. That's Bodeshaw. Ward. Ooh. Nearly went in there. Jordy Gomez back across. Bodeshaw, great way off for Watson. Oh, Watson's lost it. Make a few subs. Bring on McCann. Rob Keenan. Fortune. You know what I might do is just skip forward a bit here. Just to the end of the match. Obviously with three now. So, just skip it here, making tactical changes, and we're now 4 new up, it's absolutely fantastic, obviously it's only pre-season but that is still a pretty good result, 5 nil. wow ok, now oh, it's been this hard. to the end here and that is 5-0 now oh, that's another disallowed goal right yeah that is where I'm actually going to end the video guys so uh, comment like and subscribe if you want to see more the second episode will probably be out soon so yeah thanks for watching